Okay, today is September 3 and we are completing our interview presentation with Lisette Baena and we will begin the questions uh, in the same order that they are written. Okay. Any questions? No, I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's start with the warm-up questions. Okay. Um, what made you apply for this position? Mm, because I'm looking for professional experience, um, stability, and better opportunities. And how did you hear about this job opening? Uh, I saw the advertisement on OCC Mundial. Thank you. Briefly, would you summarize your work history and education for me? Okay. Uh, I have been working at Miller Commercial since 2008 in the Import-Export Department and Logistics. Um, I studied Political Science in UANL and I am a student English and SETI. Thank you. In regards to your work history, what special aspects of your work experience have prepared you for this job? Okay. Uh, I have experience in free quotations, shipment tracing, and PO distribution. I have successfully coordinated the times and loads between our carriers and customers by effectively communicating with, with both. Wonderful. Describe for me one or two of the biggest disappointments in your work history, please. Okay. Uh, the biggest disappointment at Miller Commercial has been the management uh, file issues. Unfortunately, uh, it has very common not to find important documents. Therefore, I have implemented a digi digitalization system uh, to improve this issue. Uh, it shows a significant significant improvement. Wonderful. Why are you leaving your present job? Mm, because I would like to move toward better opportunities and I am interested in a new challenge. Right. Uh, what is important to you in a company? Uh, for me it's important to have professional environment, uh, growth opportunities and new challenges. Okay, and what things do you look for in an organization? Mm, I'm looking for work in SIMS and employment recognition. Okay, in regards to your job performance, everyone has strengths and weaknesses as workers. Okay. What are your strong points for this job? Mm, I am proactive and a dynamic person. Uh, my ability to solve problems and my little ship skills make me an excellent candidate for this position. Um, I also speak English and I am always continuing uh, to look for ways to improve my work knowledge. Okay. What areas do you consider need improving? Mm, I'm working to improve my English. Currently, I'm studying intermediate to advanced, uh, but soon I hope to reach advanced conversation. Excellent. Do you prefer working alone or in a team? Mm, I am comfortable working in a team, but I also have the ability to work alone when needed. Very good. What kind of people do you find it most difficult to work with and why? Uh, disorganized people uh, because in logistics it's uh, very important to maintain all information updated and organize it in order to provide a better service okay and what are some things you would like to avoid in a job mm, I would like to avoid being stuck in this in position uh, I want the opportunity to grow with the company Excellent. In your previous job, what kind of pressures did you encounter? Uh, expediting orders was a challenge. 
uh, but I always handle it very well. Okay, excellent. What would you say is the most important thing you are looking for in a job? Mm, I'm looking for a professional environment. A professional environment, excellent. Mm -hmm. What are some things you particularly liked about your last job? Mm, I liked that I have an office. Uh, I also enjoy the atmosphere and I like the proximity to home. Great. In regards to your education, what special aspects of your education or training have uh, prepared you for this job? Mm, I have been taking some continuing education courses on international commerce. Very good. Uh, what courses in school have been of most help in doing your job? Mm, I have taken two courses primarily. Mm -hmm. uh, the names are working in a global economy and second is economic crisis and globalization. Excellent. In regards to career goals, what is your long-term employment or career objective? Um, I would like to establish myself in a large organization in a management role. Uh, I want to lead my team in making a positive impact in the company. Very good. What kind of uh, job do you see yourself holding five years from now? Um, I would like to obtain a better position than my present job or I would like to have my own business. Very good. What do you feel you need to develop in terms of skill and knowledge in order to be ready for that opportunity? Um, because a manager's role has more responsibility and work, I think that I need to be a diplomatic person in terms of leadership um, I want to practice more my vision in order to implement better work strategies. Excellent. What might make you, I mean, I'm sorry, what might you be successful in such a job? Why? Mm, because I am a persistent person and I can adapt easily to different situations. Um, I also like to take on um, new responsibilities. Excellent. What might make you leave this job? Um, if I feel that this job does not satisfy my expectations um, or the job itself adversely affects my family. Very good. In regards to self-assessment, what kind of things do you feel most confident in doing? Um, I feel most confident in doing things that require creativity and working in a team. Uh, I also enjoy being in contact with many people. Excellent. Can you describe for me a difficult obstacle you, you have had to overcome? How did you handle it or how do you feel that this experience affected your personality or ability? Okay, my most difficult obstacle has been the handling of love's achievement. Um, unfortunately, I have experienced a problem with the coordination of two flatbeds because my partner Michel Galvan made a big mistake in documentation. Um, she incorrectly mixed the information uh, and due to this mistake, the flatbed were delivered to the wrong destinations. Um, one order should have gone to North Carolina and went to Maryland, and the other one should have gone to Maryland and went to North Carolina. Our customer uh, was a little frustrated with the situation, but we organized everything uh, and we moved the loads to the correct destination. Obviously the extra charge were paid by our account and I can tell you that in this process we maintain the client informed uh, therefore the client was satisfied with our quick resolution. 
Uh, this experience taught me to always double check my work when possible, specifically when handled by multiple hands and it taught me how to confront unexpected issues professionally. Very good. How would you describe yourself as a person? Mm, I would like to describe myself as a friendly person and dedicate, dedicated to my profession. Mm, I am honest and I have a positive attitude. Excellent. What do you think are the most important characteristics and abilities a person must possess to become success, a successful candidate for your position and how do you rate yourself in these areas? Uh, for me, the most important characteristic in a person is to have confidence in yourself. I strive to maintain a positive attitude in everything I do. Great. What do you consider to be your greatest achievement to date? Okay. Uh, my ability to maintain job stability and a firm career path and continually improve my work experience and education without allowing personal issues to get in, a, in the way. That sounds very good. Mm -hmm. In regards to decisiveness, do you consider yourself to be thoughtful, analytical, or do you usually make up your mind fast? Mm, I consider myself thoughtful and analytical because it's important for me to take a good and correct decision in my field. I consider myself with relevant experience and I can take quick decisions too. Very good. Uh, what was your most difficult decision in the last six months? What made it difficult? Mm, my most difficult decision was to accept or reject position at work. Yeah. Uh, I decided to keep my position within my job because I have had many challenges and positive ideas to implement in logistics. Nevertheless, I have decided on continuing to improve my education in order to position myself in better opportunities for the future. Very good. How do you go about making an important decision affecting your career? Um, for me, it's important to analyze um, the pros and cons about each situation in order to encounter the best option for one's professional goals. Okay, and what was the last major problem that you were confronted with? Uh, what action did you take on it? Mm, as I mentioned previously, my decision to reject a different work and continue the stability in this company. That was a difficult decision. Okay. In regards to motivation, what is your professional goal? Um, my professional goal is to obtain a position as a logistic manager. And can you give me examples of experience on the job that you felt were satisfying? Mm, yes, uh, I have had experience training new recruits efficiently. That is a satisfying task for me. Great. In regards to leadership, what specifically do you do to set an example for other employees or mm. for your employees? I always stay focused on my activities. I arrive early at work and try learning new things. Excellent. What sort of leader do your people feel you are? Are you satisfied? Uh, I am a motivational leader. And yes, I am sorry. Excellent. How do you get people who do not want to work together to establish a common approach to a problem? Mm, I organize meetings every week in order to involve people and motivate their participation. Okay. 
And how would you describe your basic leadership style? Mm, I would like to describe myself as a democratic leader. Very good. Do you feel you work more effectively on a one-to-one -one basis or in a group situation? Mm, I think that teamwork can be more uh, creative or creative, so mm -hmm. the team members may continually contribute more ideas. Very good. Uh, let's speak a little bit about your oral presentation skills. Have you ever done any public or group speaking recently? No, I have not, but I'm ready if it's required. Uh, currently, in my English class, we are practicing this topic. Very good. Have you made any individual presentations recently? Uh, yes, I researched my topic and I prepared the structure uh, because the presentation should be concise clear and fluent. Excellent. Uh, what about written communication skills? Would you rather write a report or give a verbal report? Mm, I prefer writing a writing report versus verbal because writing reports have an essential role in business and help to avoid misunderstanding. All information stay documented. Excellent. What kind of writing have you done for a group or for an individual? Uh, I have done both. Both? Yes. Excellent. Regarding flexibility, what was the most important idea or suggestion you received recently from your employees and what happened as a result? Mm, in order to increase the productivity and save money, uh, one employee uh, proposed to consolidate shipments and the result was excellent because we also implemented some routing guides and we simplified this process. Very good. Uh, what do you think about the continuous changes in company operating policies and procedures? Mm. If the change in the company provide better results, I agree. But sometimes uh, stability is an important point for all procedures. Yes, I agree. How effective has your company been in adapting its policies to fit a changing environment? Mm. It, has, uh, it has been very effective generally the company anticipates change in order to be better prepared and ready for implementation. Very good. What was the most significant change made in your company in the last six months? Which directly affected you and how successfully do you think you implemented this change? Um, the most recent uh, change has been the implementation of CityPath. Um, it's very important in order to to verify the security into the company and has been a little difficult to implement because the carriers uh, sometimes did not have all information uh, and time. Very good. Do you feel, in regards to stress tolerance, do you feel pressure in your job? Yes. <coughs> mm, I sometimes feel pressure in my job, <coughs> but I try to prioritize the origin activities in order to focus and obtain good results. Excellent. What has been the highest pressure situation you have been under in recent years and how did you cope with it? Uh, when our company changed its name for fiscal reasons, uh, we had to update all our accounts with our different carriers. Uh, also, the billing information was changed and all invoices were delayed. 
Very good. Regarding stability and maturity, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Regarding stability and maturity, describe your most significant success and failure in the last two years. Mm, my most significant success has been to to build an excellent relationship relationships with the carriers uh, in order to maintain our prices and uh, during three years our rates have not increased in no, have not increased sorry and the company has been benefiting with a constant profit margin about my folder i can tell you that the paperwork has been a problem very well and what do you like to do best? Mm, I really enjoy establishing communication with new customers and the ability to work independently. Independently. Independently, very good. And what do you like to do least? Mm, verify account statements mm. and process the payment of, of invoices. Okay. All right. Um, what in your last review did your supervisor suggest needed improvement? Uh, my group speaking presentations. I have been bettering them recently. Very good. What have you done about it? Um, I have been working in bettering my confidence and I have also practice in front of a mirror <coughs> to develop this ability. Okay. Very, very good. Well, uh, that covers uh, all our uh, interview uh, questions and responses. And you did excellently and we're going to get back to you with uh, the correct feedback. Do you have any um, any questions for us? No, thank you. No? Thank okay. you for the interview. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. This concludes our interview.